Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land. Well, not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Chad. And I'm Lucy. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on the houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims that hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Kate with more. Hello, I'm Kate Taylor and I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf himself. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Absolutely horrible, I say. Well, what are these people saying? They're not accusations. Ah, ah, ah. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? Uh, well, he's me. And, well, those people, they weren't as fashionable, so I just had to do what had to be done. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? Good people? What good people? I'll stick your bu nose in your business and I'll stick mine in my own. Well, thank you for those interesting thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They've spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs. The Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Isla was at the book's release in the deep, dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Isla O'Donnell and with me is Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich having found all of those jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all this money? Uh, well, since we the jewels. I am spending mine on gym memberships, golf memberships, golf balls, baseballs, bats, cricket balls, soccer balls, golf balls. Yeah, basically a lot of balls. And I'm going to spend the money on dresses, jewellery and a puppy. Good answers. Hansel, you're getting back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? Yeah, so as I was saying before, the riches really helped. Got a gym membership, golf membership. Yeah, so now I'm just good. That's amazing. What have you guys learned through this experience? Oh, so through this traumatic experience, I definitely learned that riches do matter. And I learned to always be curious and kind. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast after failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets. Sources are saying that happily ever after might not, must, might not last much longer. We now go to our reporter, Fiona. Thanks, Chad, and hello, everyone. I'm Fiona, here at the lovely mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And hello and smooches. Hello. Hi. So, you, now yours is a classic love story, where two opposites fell in love at, against the odds. How's it going with you two? It's going absolutely horrible. He does nothing to help me around this whole entire house. He never helps me do the dishes. I'm always cleaning the houses and everything. Well, you always make me clean your shoes when I actually have to walk the dog and have better responsibilities than to look after you. That is so not true, but... Wow. So, you're some singer beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is the reality of living with somebody who is completely different from you? Terrible, because I have to look at him and he looks like a 
furry dog and it's ugly to look at every single day and wake up and look at him. Well, I have to live with a Barbie doll, but um, it's just a nightmare, complete nightmare. Wow. So your recent duet album was really, really bad. Well, it was kind of did not sound well. And your fashion label has gone bust. What is the next step for you to do? Well, I'm breaking up and going back with my ex-husband because he buys me everything I want and he'll get me new shoes whenever, Gucci or Louis Vuitton, and I'm going to live in a new mansion and scat away from this freak. I'm moving to LA, ditching the whole music idea, and I'm going to live with my dog who's better than you, Bruce. Wow. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast, and I wish you the best for your future. Back to the studio. Thanks, Fiona. Now it's time for a Faroe Land weather update with Estelle and Tina. Who will have the first weather of them all this week? Well, it will be a mix of fear and foul for the Far Away Kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will have occasionally sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will turn snow, white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread, because it's going to be fr fr freezing. Finally, the trolls living under the bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's happy ending for the week for most of us. Back to the news desk. That's all for tonight, although we have just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good night! Good night.